have already learned about what a subject is and we have also learned about some of the rules about subject verb agreement. Now today we are going to learn some more rules. Now the basic rule is a verb must agree with its subject in number and person. So this is the basic rule that we need to follow. Apart from this, there are some additional rules that needs to be followed. The apples dash really good. Now in this case, what should be the answer? Will it be is or are? Well, it's very easy. Apples is the noun and it's a plural noun. Hence, we know with plural subjects, we always need a plural verb. So here, the apples is referring to a plural subject. Hence, we will have a plural verb. So the apples are really good. Now, if the sentence is, the taste of the apples dash really good. So in this case, will it still be the taste of the apples are really good? No. Why? Because in this case, what is the subject? The main noun of the subject is taste. And what is this part doing? So it's actually modifying the noun taste. So taste is the main noun in this subject. And this part of the apples is an additional information about whose taste we are talking about. So it is the taste of the apples. Now taste is a singular noun. Hence, we will use is and not are. So what do we see? The taste of the apples is really good. But if it was simply the apples, then we use are. So we should remember that the verb should always agree with its proper subject and not with the nearest noun. So just because we have the noun apples before the verb does not mean that the verb will be decided based on the number of this noun. We need to understand which is the main noun of the subject. Accordingly, we will have to decide whether we are using a singular verb or a plural verb. In this case, what we are actually meaning, the taste is really good. The apple is not our concern. We are more concerned about the taste. So the taste is really good. Whereas in this case, the main focus was the apples are really good. So we need to follow which is the proper subject and not go by the nearest noun. Wood dash used for making furniture. Now in this case, wood is an uncountable noun. So with uncountable nouns, we always take a singular verb. So it will be wood is used for making furniture. But if we say logs of wood dash used for making furniture, then what shall we use? Shall we use is or are? Now here we have to understand though logs of wood entirely is the subject of the sentence but the main noun in this case is logs of wood is actually a phrase which is describing logs logs of what logs of wood so the verb should agree with the number of the noun logs now logs is a plural noun and logs is a countable noun. Hence, we are going to use are in this case. So, what do we see? We see that wood is used for making furniture. But logs of wood are used for making furniture. Now, when wood is used only as itself, then it is an uncountable noun. But when we are considering wood in terms of logs, then logs are countable. Hence, logs of wood are used for making furniture. The colors of the rainbow dash beautiful. Now, in this case, what should be the answer? 
are we going to use is or are well so in this case first we need to identify what is our proper subject so here we see the colors of the rainbow we have two nouns in this case now rainbow is closer to the verb but we see it is colors of the rainbow so of the rainbow is actually qualifying the noun colors so the verb should be decided based on the number of the subject colors now colors is a plural noun hence we are going to use are so the colors of the rainbow are beautiful so once again what do we notice we notice that the verb should agree with the proper subject and not with the nearest noun so this is a very common mistake that we tend to make so especially in cases where you have such a long subject you need to be very careful to identify which noun is our proper subject so we should not just go by the nearest noun to the verb we need to identify the proper subject and then accordingly decide the number of the verb whether to use a singular verb or a plural verb the tallest of the employees are standing at the end of the line now do you think this is a correct sentence well some of you might think well it's a correct sentence but it is not a correct sentence why let us see now here what is our subject the tallest of the employees this entire thing is the subject of the sentence now within the subject notice the tallest of the employees now is employees the proper subject in this case no the employees are standing at the end of the line that is not what we mean we are saying the tallest of the employees are standing at the end of the line so what we mean is we are referring to one particular person who is the tallest among the employees and that particular person is standing at the end of the line so we are referring to this person as you can see in the picture he is the tallest of all the employees and he is standing at the end of the line so this part of the employees is actually describing tallest tallest among whom of the employees so tallest although you know that it is an adjective the superlative degree of adjective but in this case tallest is the noun and it is referring to a single person and this is the noun with which the verb needs to agree this person is standing at the end of the line hence we cannot have a plural verb with this noun so what should be the correct way of writing the tallest of the employees is standing at the end of the line because the tallest of the employees refers to one person so a singular subject needs a singular verb so we need a singular verb is standing so once again what do we see the verb should agree with the proper subject and not with the nearest noun so we need to read the sentence carefully understand the proper subject and then decide on the verb fill in the blank with the correct option which of these dash your favorite color the options given are is are so what should be the correct answer in this case well which of these dash your favorite color now so the question is talking about one particular color which is your favorite color now also you will note your favorite color so this specifies we have used color and not colors that means we are referring to one particular color which is your favorite so the verb that we are going to use is is which of these is your favorite color these is talking about several colors out of which there is one particular color which is your favorite and that particular color is being asked about 
some pages of the books and magazines are torn now in this case we have are as the verb and the subject is some pages of the books and magazines now here do you think it is because of the magazines or books well it is not this are is actually related to pages so some pages are torn now which pages that answer is being provided by this group of words of the books and magazines so here of the books and magazines is actually describing or referring to some pages therefore the main noun of the subject here is pages so pages being a plural noun we have used a plural verb so even if we had some pages of a book even then we would have used are torn and not is torn so here we have to understand that this verb is related to this noun and not this noun or this noun nora's love for plants and animals dash praiseworthy so here what should be the verb should we say is or are well first let us identify the subject of the sentence what is the subject nora's love for plants and animals this entire thing is the subject now in this subject we have a number of words so first let us see which is the head noun or the proper subject well nora's love for plants and animals now for plants and animals is describing the noun love so this particular part is referring to love so nora's love dash praiseworthy but love for what that part is being answered by for plants and animals so the verb that we are going to use must agree with love and not with plants and animals so here the correct answer would be nora's love for plants and animals is praiseworthy and not are praiseworthy so here the proper subject is not plants or animals but it is love thinking about the vast sea and its huge waves make me thrilled do you think it is a correct sentence well it is actually not if you look at the sentence carefully you will see that thinking about the vast sea and its huge waves this entire thing is a subject so it's a pretty huge subject but in that which is the proper subject is it the vast sea and its huge waves no the vast sea and its huge waves make me thrill that is not the case what make me thrill thinking make me thrill and about the vast sea and its huge waves is actually referring to what this man is thinking about so thinking about the vast sea and its huge waves makes me thrilled not make me thrilled so the correct sentence would be thinking about the vast sea and its huge waves makes me thrilled so remember this verb makes is not related to waves or sea but related to thinking which is a noun in this case so we you must be thinking that thinking is a verb but this is not a verb thinking is acting as a noun in this sentence different programs related to road safety dash arranged every year so in this case what should be used shall we use are arranged or is arranged well first let us look at the sentence carefully different programs related to road safety now this entire part is our subject now among this what is the proper subject is it road safety or different programs well it is different programs why 
because related to road safety is not the proper subject. What is it doing? It is describing the programs. Programs related to road safety. So different programs is the proper subject. Now programs as you can see is a plural noun and hence we need a plural verb to go with it. So it should be are arranged every year. So the correct sentence becomes different programs related to road safety are arranged every year. Fill in the blank with the correct option. What is the sentence? My friend's collection of old coins and stamps dash enviable. What are the options given? Is and are. So what should be the correct answer? Well, my friend's collection of old coins and stamps. So here as well we see we have a long subject. And among that, friend's collection. This collection noun is the main or the proper subject. My friends, this is also describing collection of old coins and stamps is also describing the noun collection. So the proper subject of this sentence is collection and the number of this subject or this noun is going to determine the verb that we use. Now collection is an abstract noun and hence it is also an uncountable noun. So we are always going to use a singular verb with it. So the correct answer will be is enviable. My friend's collection of old coins and stamps is enviable and not are. So don't just confuse because of these stamps and coins. They might be plural but are concern is the proper subject of the sentence. So what did we learn today? We have learned that the sentence may have a long subject but the verb should always agree with the proper subject or the head noun of the subject and it should not agree with the nearest noun. So it's not just important to identify the subject of the sentence but it is also important to identify the proper subject in order to use the correct form of the verb whether the singular verb or the plural verb. In the coming lectures, we are going to learn more about the other rules of subject verb agreement. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across Math, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.